Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown, and I'm excited to be with you here today at the day after Labor Day on Training Tip Tuesday. And the horse I'm riding this morning is Rip. And Rip, remember, is a two and a half year old Mustang horse that, that I got in training about four weeks ago. And this is his fifth week. We went ahead and we're putting one more week on him. He's doing really well. There's just a few things, minor things that we're working on. One of the things that I'm working on is he likes to speed up into a trot occasionally as we're out here on the trail when I didn't ask him to. And the other thing is sometimes he'll speed up going down a hill or going up a hill. And um, that's that's probably one of the most common besides Buddy and Barn Sour issues out on the trail and maybe some spookiness issues. That's probably one of the most common issues to deal with out on the trail or anywhere you go if you if there are hills involved and that is a horse will want to speed up when they go down a hill or speed up when they go up a hill now speeding up when they go up a hill isn't as big of a problem because they need some momentum to speed up to go up the hill but as they're going down the hill they need to check themselves if they don't if if they feel like they're kind of out of control and they're letting their body go and they're pushing forward and moving into a trot and some will even break into a canter as they go down a hill. That's something we want to avoid. That's something you want to teach your horse to get out of and, and uh, help him overcome that, that challenge. So the, I'm going down a hill right now. <coughs> and now if you're in a situation where you're on a steep trail, a narrow trail, and you can't do anything but check him with your reins with the bit, that's fine, do that. But, but if your horse has a problem going up and down a hill, I'm going up now and I'm gonna go back down right here. If he has, if you make sure you have lots of room, try to try to have try to get in a, a place where there's lots of room where you can move right to left, you can make some circles. And what you want to do is, <coughs> as your horse goes down the hill and speeds up, you want to check him just a little bit. Don't let him get totally out of control, but kind of let him get be in let him be in a hurry to the to the bottom. And then once you get it to the bottom, you want to start moving your horse in a circle. You wanna make multiple circles, you wanna make multiple turns, go around bushes, go around trees. And right now I'm just making a circle. <clears throat> I'm working on a number of things when I'm doing that. I'm, I'm working on lateral softness, I'm working on bending at the walk and the trot. Sometimes I'll even canter him. But what I'm doing is disincentivizing his goal of getting down the hill quickly. So I wanna work his feet, move his feet, make him get him a little bit tired as he's as he gets to the bottom of the hill and then i'm going to take him back up the hill and here we go we're going to go back up the hill now if he really rushes up the hill i mean really rushes like pushes into a canter or something you want to do the same thing at the top of the hill you want to move his feet and disincentivize his getting to the top he wants to you want to make the horse think that if they rush up or down that hill, when they do that, they're going to have to move their feet and they're going to have to work harder when they get to the bottom. So pretty soon, I mean, I, I, I've taken horses that have serious, serious issues with this and they just race to the bottom. And in an hour or so, I can mostly convince them that that's not a good thing to do. That's not something they want to do. And they start checking themselves and really being wary of going down the hill because they're they're basically afraid that when they get down to the bottom of the hill, they're going to have to work harder. So they start checking themselves, rating their speed, and slowing down going down the hill. And that's, that's a tip I wanted to give you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful day. What a great day it is. And the day after Labor Day, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your work. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. And until next time, make sure to live with passion, live with purpose, and stay safe in the saddle.